going to be providing you an example in this lesson of how you can create a prototype on the array within the Google Apps Script. In this case, we're going to be doing a search of the array contents to return back a value of a string that we're searching for. And they're showing you two different examples of how you can search the entire spreadsheet or how you can select a range and search only that relevant range of content. So it's all coming up in this lesson. For this example, we're going to be creating a brand new Google spreadsheet and then applying some code in order to search through the spreadsheet content. So setting up and selecting the spreadsheet, I'll give it a name for the spreadsheet of example sheet. And let's uh, populate some information into here and as well Slide in, add in some more string values. And so what we want to do is we want to have a search and a particular search string for the spreadsheet. So opening up the script editor, we'll do a bound script and give this a name sheet example. And within the function, first of all, let's select the sheet content and I'll just call it searcher will be the function name and we need a search string so whatever the search string value is and we'll populate that afterwards uh, also we need to select the sheet that we want to use so using the spreadsheet app class we can get the active spreadsheet object and then because this is a bound script so the active spreadsheet object and then we want to get the whatever the active sheet is that's currently open to do the search on and let's uh, next get the data so this is all of the columns of data that we have from the sheet so using the sheet and get data range. So this is going to entire the, all of the sheet content. And then to get the values from that range. If we want to limit it to a specific column, we can specify the column that we want to search. So for instance, if we want to search, uh, this is going to be the search column. And we don't want to search all of the sheets. We can be more specific and add in a column that we want to search. So in this example, let's uh, search uh, column one. And I'll update this. So instead of getting all of the values, we want to select a range of values that we want to get. So let's uh, set up a range. So using the sheet object and then get range. So this will allow us to search a particular range of values. So if we want to start at row number two, because typically within the first row, you might have some headings. So this would be the first row and count. This maybe is the ID, uh, user and name or something like that. So we don't want to necessarily search starting at the first row. So we're starting at this second row. And then the column that we want to search, this is going to be dynamic value, that uh, whatever column we want to do the search of. And then we want to take the sheet object and get whatever the last row is. Uh, so this is a val value that you can say, find uh, using the get last row value. So getting that as a value. And you can also get the last column if you want to. So any rows, and then you can also set the columns within the range. So we're just getting all of the last rows and this is gonna return back all of the available data, get values. And actually we're gonna get that within the data. So now we can use the range and get the corresponding values. Let's output those into the logger. And this should provide us an array of the data that's within the spreadsheet. So in this example, we're using the column dynamically. 
and setting it whatever that column value is. And in this statement, we're getting all of the values from the spreadsheet. So let's see what gets returned back. We need to accept the permissions. And once we accept the permissions, then the, uh, the script is going to run and it's going to do returning back all of the data. And those are the permissions that we're accepting for this application. So this is the row of content that we're getting. So that's the first row. And we can update it. So if we want to, we want to get the user column. And this makes it really easy just to select the column that we want to get the content from. So if we want to get all of that content from the second row, we can do that as well. Or if we want to output all of the content within the spreadsheet, we can just use the data and that's going to get all of the content. So depending on what content you want to search, you can make updates to that content. Because the content is being returned back as an array, just like with JavaScript, we can add a prototype to the arrays. So setting up a prototype object, and this can be a function that we can run. So signing a function, and then it'll take in whatever the search value is going to be. And first, we should check to make sure that val has a value. And if it doesn't have a value, then we just return back a Boolean of false. And if there is a value, then we can do a search setting the value of i to 0, going to create a loop, and looping through while i is less than whatever the current length is, and then incrementing i by 1. So this is going to get applied to the array. The array is going to be what we're referencing as this. So the this length is going to be actually coming from the array that uh, we're going to be attaching this prototype to. So next up, we check to see if this and the value of the item that's going through, change it to string, and check to see if within the index of the string, we see that we've got the value. And if it's greater than negative 1, then we return back the value of i. So that's going to be the row that that content was found in. And then if nothing is found, and we can continue the loop, we can simply just return back the value of negative 1. So now that we've got the finder prototype in the array, we can apply that and create a result that gets returned back, and apply that to the data array that we've just got all of the values extracted from the spreadsheet. And let's, and actually we've called it Finder. And within Finder, let's pass in whatever the search string is going to be. And that's the value of test that's coming from up there. And lastly, within the log, we'll output whatever we have as the value for result. And we'll see what we get here. So we're going to be looking for, in all of the data, the value of the string test. And we see that we get returned back the first matching result. So that's going to be the first item is going to have test within it. If we change the search string to a value of 7, let's see what we get back for 7. And that means that we ended up getting it back within the 7th item, and that's actually because we're starting with row number 2, so we're not reflecting the row value. So we would need to have that result minus 1 in order to get the actual row that that item is contained. And it's only returning back the first match that it finds, and because we're doing a return i, we're returning it back that way. We can also, if we want to have a full value here, if we want to create an array of all of the matching rows for that content. Uh, let's create an array. And we'll start it out by a blank array. Return back the array. And instead of returning the value of i, in this case, we can take the array, push into the array the value of i. 
So this will return back all of the rows with the matching result and output it into the log. So now if we update it and if we have more than one matching result, and we need to update this so we don't subtracting off of it, and it will update and show you all of the rows that have that matching result from the data. And we know because we're getting the full data range, but if we're using this, we're starting at row number two, and those results are gonna be slightly different. So we do have to take that in consideration that now we're starting at the second item. So we're finding matches all the way down and we need to add two in order to get the actual row count value. So that's how you can do a search for a particular value within Google Sheets.